Welcome back to my series on how Adobe Creative Cloud Express can help you stand out from the crowd and create memorable networking experiences for your business. My name's Kitty Apolaskis. I'm a craft-based designer and Adobe Creative Cloud Express ambassador, and this is the second episode in our series. Now, if you're a small business owner, freelancer, product-based business, or just starting out, this is definitely the series for you. If you haven't watched the first episode yet, make sure you check that out and hit subscribe for more Creative Cloud Express tips and tricks. Okay, let's get stuck into it. In our last episode, we talked about why networking is important for business growth and reputation and how creating a personal connection with other people when networking is truly the key to success. We then explored the concept of a digital business card and why it can create a unique and memorable experience for people when you meet them for the first time. Today, we're going to design a digital business card using an existing template in Creative Cloud Express. You can essentially turn any design into a digital business card in Creative Cloud Express. There are so many beautiful existing templates to choose from, and they're just ready for you to remix and totally make your own and make them match your brand aesthetic and your style. If you have access to the brand tool and you've already uploaded your logos, your colors and your brand fonts, personalization is even easier. The first thing we're going to do is open up the remixable template. Let's start with the photo. You can switch this out with a photo of yourself or something that relates to your brand. To switch out a photo, just select the current one and hit replace on the right hand menu. You can choose from the Adobe Stock Library, upload your own or access one from your Creative Cloud libraries. I've got a library of brand images that I use in all of my projects, so I'm going to choose one from there. I'm then going to edit the cropping of my photo using the tools on the right hand side. Next, I'll swap out the background of this image. Now, as with the photo, you can choose from the backgrounds within Creative Cloud Express, but today I'm going to use one from my library's folder of different paper textures. And I'm going to adjust the look using the editing tools available. Next up, I'll switch out the logo with my own using the elements that I uploaded into the brand tool. Now, if you don't have access to the brand tool, don't worry. You can upload your logo as a photo. Just make sure that it's saved as a PNG file with a transparent background before you upload it into Creative Cloud Express. I'm then going to swap out the business card details with my own and change the colors and fonts to match my brand. Then I'll swap out the decorative icon here with one of my branding motifs and I'm going to add in a couple more around the photo to finish off my design. Once I'm happy with the way things look, I'm going to download the image as a PNG file. So there you have it. That's how to use an existing template to create your very own digital business card design. In the next episode, we're going to be creating a QR code and I'll show you how to then insert that QR code into the design that you created today. I'll also explain how the whole QR code process works for digital business cards. So make sure you're subscribed so you know when the next episode drops. See you next time. Bye.